Yeah, all those folks traveling, all these folks gathering this weekend, and uh, we want to do it outside. Yeah. Uh, bundle up, I guess, would be <laughs> would be the advice, Ray. You said earlier we may not, we may have trouble climbing into the 50s. Oh, uh, into the getting out of the 50s. Out of the 50s. But, but that's not much of a consolation prize. But when it comes down to it, this is going to be a chillier weekend. But next week we start to see those temperatures bounce back a little bit. We're done with the 80s for a little while. But a uh, beautiful day we had today, right? Let's focus on that for a second. We get 73 degrees in Pittsburgh, Washington 75, 72 Cranberry, Catanning 75. 75 Connellsville, 76 in Morgantown. Some great temperatures, but you can see it gets a little cooler up to the north as those winds are coming off the lake, and we're going to see cooler temperatures winning out this weekend. So a few clouds floating by, but a beautiful looking evening, and this is going to remain the case for the next couple of hours, although those clouds will continue to thicken up. 73 is current temperature out at the airport. We have a dew point at 50. When your dew points are in the 40s and 50s, it's usually very comfortable. We're going to get a little bump in that humidity, though, tomorrow. And we'll start off with temperatures in the mid to upper 50s, but we'll build those temperatures into the 70s, low 70s for that matter, once we get into the afternoon. But it'll be a muggier setup once this starts to happen. And this is with a bigger system that's going to be cutting through the area. But when it comes to tomorrow, tomorrow is the soggiest of the days. And then we're still going to see some of this rain trying to carry into the weekend. So it doesn't look like too much with this system back here to the west. That will continue to progress towards us. And you can see 7 a.m. just starting to knock on the door. These clouds filled in here, so it'll be a mostly cloudy start to your day. And then by 9, 10 o'clock, we're going to see that rain crossing over into western Pennsylvania, the rest of the area through the afternoon. We're going to see a little trough. A little kink in the atmosphere following this up, swing through, and that's going to keep the atmosphere agitated enough to pull off some showers once we get into Saturday. So the rain does carry over for a little bit with this trough. High pressure tries to build in, and I think it pushes most of the rain out of here by the time we get into early Sunday, and then Sunday through the day we'll be clearing it out. A little closer view on Futurecast shows how this works out. Um, 7 a.m., still the rain out of the picture. 10 a.m. that rain just crossing over the state line and then through the afternoon that rain takes over. So it'll be a wetter setup tomorrow for sure. Cloudy skies take over tonight. 57 degrees for your overnight low and tomorrow we'll see our high temperatures return to the lower 70s. This is mainly going to be rain, but south of Pittsburgh we could get a couple rumbles of thunder and one or two of those might try to get gusty, but you can see it's the earliest part of the day where we're going to be dry, but by mid morning we're going to turn the rain showers on and over the next seven days these temperatures. Well, they're going to be chilly upper 50s. On Saturday with scattered rain showers, not a pretty start to the weekend. In between some of that light rain that's going to be scattered around, it's going to be cloudy. We'll brighten it up a little bit Sunday afternoon and keep that sunshine going into Memorial Day with 76 degrees there. Those warmer temperatures continue through next week. And with the long holiday weekend upon us and a lot of people itching to get together, make sure you get the KDK weather app. You can see where the rain is in respects to your picnics or parties. Plus, there's an interactive Futurecast built into it. Just search CBS Pittsburgh in your App Store and Google Play.